Welcome to Soulstone Survivors, and today we will go for a specialized build. Now, for this game, I'm pretty much looking out for updates. It's not a very fun game overall, but it just lacks content if you played it enough. Uh, to be fair, I have played like, I think, 60 hours or so in it, which is, for me, a little bit surprising given that the content is so limited. But just waiting for the new runes, for the new weapons, maybe more talents, hopefully. I would guess, maybe, I'm not too sure, it would be great. More weapons and everything, that sounds amazing. Let's start banishing here, the stuff that I don't want to have. And 15% attack speed is not a great start, but we'll go for it. But yeah, the build today is themed, that means we want to go for a certain build, I guess you already know it because of title and thumbnail, but sometimes we will just be forced to pick up certain weapons, and the good thing about this game is, later on, you can just replace them. In fact, right now, I actually want to have weapons, there's, oh, lightning bolt. Yeah, let's go for it. We have a bolt build, and bolts are very interesting. Now, they're definitely not top tier in the game. They are s still fine, you know, they're okay. But they, I think they lag in comparison to other weapons, but they are so much fun. You just walk around and you keep shooting them. Now, in the beginning, they are not that great in regards to clearing the enemies, but very quickly this will turn into something where you just go pew, 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 pew. Okay, indomitable, get rid of that. I'm debating if I should keep the magnetic or not. I guess I can get rid of the burn. Oh, but then I don't have enough banishes left, right? Yeah, let's just go for magnetic, I guess. Early on, a little bit more experience. Not that great. The way I view it, it's just a reroll that we have it in the future. Like a delayed reroll. Um, I don't like any of these. Let's reroll here and let's reroll again. Firebolt. There was also Frostbolt. Maybe I should have went for Frostbolt. It immediately deals damage. It doesn't apply a burn. But Frostbolt also has a decent amount, as you can see. 300, it's okay. Double cast a Firebolt. Let's go. Yes, please. Okay. That is not bad. So one thing that I'm always debating, you need to understand this game ends when you finish it. Increase the area of effect of all electric types. That is not bad. But I will only have one electric type. I think I would rather go for the, uh, the bonus experience this early on. Now, but I always debate whether I should make this a long run, which means you try to not kill too many enemies, or if you will make it a run that is as fast as possible, like how you usually play, but this means you get less upgrades, right? We will take a look at all the bulls once I have all of them. If you want, you can obviously pause when I get them and just read through them. But they are very interesting, you have a range of apply effects and then just deal damage and have a minor effect, but not so great. And they are always shooting where your mouse curve. So it is. Wow. That is so good. Well, it's not a double cast, you know, but it's real. Oh my god. It's really good. Okay. Yeah, the fire double cast is insane that we have this this early. Last reroll Poison Bolt. Nice one. Now we only need one more bolt, and then we will replace our starting weapon with the Bloodlust that we attack more often. In fact, I will do it the moment it uh, Bloodlust shows up. I don't really want our starting weapon to take up a spot for the other ones. Your critical strikes have a 100% chance of applying wound to the target. All effects are doubled. Wait, we will have so many effects. Let's go for that. Should we... <gasps> that is big. That is ginormous. 20% attack speed boost. Look at this. Okay. So, what I need right now is double cast, the last bolt, and the Bloodlust. There's nothing here, so I'm forced into taking a random one. I think I will go for Intimidating Shout. I don't even know which one I want to take here. I guess I will go for Intimidating Shout. I don't really want to go for another weapon, since the weapon can get buffs to it, which I don't want that they take them up, the spots. And buff weapons have a lot of general buffs, which are, you know, it's good to get them. D double cast range weapons! Wait, what? That is so insane! Every single projectile that we have is a ranged weapon. Jesus Christ. I can't believe that we only need one more bolt and we are finished with this. Oh, I, I didn't dash fast enough. Yeah, I need to get used to this again. It's actually not that... Oh, well, I actually failed there. It's actually not that that hard. Uh, you're useless. I don't want you. But I guess I can't banish you because it would be a waste of a banish. Let's go for a little bit of movement speed, I guess. It will help later on since there's an upgrade that decreases your movement speed. There we have the final bolt. And let's take it? Yeah, let's take it. Let's replace the fury missiles. And now we will check out the bolts. 
So this one here is a piercing one, and it can apply a confusion, that just means they have a higher chance to be critted, very short cooldown, firebolt is, you just shoot at a direction and it will explode, and applies a burn as well, so it's a mix of what kind of damage it does. The Shadow Bolt does no damage at all, instead it applies Doom, which will then just damage a target after 5 seconds, it's an explosion. Well, not really an explosion, but implosion, I should say. Poison works exactly in the same way, except that it infects a large area instead of just the person, uh, instead of just the enemies that it hits. And the Frost Bolt is, you know, some damage, but the main thing is it applies chill and reduces the movement speed. Arguably speaking, the Frostbolt is the worst one, but you can get an upgrade that allows you to apply fragility, which means the enemies take more damage whenever you freeze them. Now, uh, oh wait, we can banish. Let's banish this. Yeah, I guess we'll go for Frostbolt. Frostbolt is probably the weaker one in these. It's not the worst one, but the thing is, it, it has main damage, right? Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I, obviously, I have to. But uh, what a joke. Now we have three of the projectiles. Like, with Frostball. And the issue is, even those that don't deal damage on their own, at least they apply a huge amount of damage. And all the bonus that the Frostball has is slowing. Wow, great, right? No damage. But I guess it's fine. And let's reroll. Oh. Nah, I can't say no to that. The comfort out of these is just incredible. And yeah, nah, I like them. Vicious Strikes, there we go. Maybe I should just chill a little bit and not kill any enemies, so it takes longer to finish the game, I don't know. Increase the damage or increase the... Ooh, I like the Leviathan. I don't think I had another one so far. Maybe I had one early on. But if this is also Blight Multiplicative, then it's very good. Relentless, there we go. And... Oh, no, 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 no. Early on, I liked more to go for general upgrades that apply to multiple weapons, like all of them. And later on, I will start specializing more into individual ones. Let's just get rid of this, this shows up way too often. One thing that you can do is you can banish the magnetic, since it shows up quite frequently. But I gotta say, I actually like it. And we roll into crit chance. How much crit chance do we have? Wait a moment. 30%? No, I have to bump that up. That is not a lot. And damage increase or more damage on this one. I guess I shoot a lot of these, right? So it would be good. Hmm. Let's just do it. Yeah. I guess the base damage of the weapon is bad. Like, with all the upgrades, it only deals 730 damage. Um, yeah. But it's it's fine. 10% more crit chance. I like it. Keep in mind that we have exposed weakness. So all the effects that we have, and we have a lot of effects, get applied twice as often whenever we critically strike. So we pretty much want to get to 100%. And powerful strike, there we go. This also means, since we have the upgrade, that our first hit on the enemy, or rather when they have full HP here, then we have a 100% chance, it's just always, to deal a critical strike. That is very good. And let's go for more crit chance. Wait, was that crit chance or crit damage? No, I'm pretty sure that was crit chance. I think I read a 5% and that would be so low. Let's go for... Hmm, chill. If we get the other one, this would actually be good. I will get one of them, just to have it. It would be so insane if we could get the upgrade that applies fragility. It nukes bosses. In increase the damage of all your skills of the type Shadow. Well, I have one of them, but let's do it. Let's just get them to a high level. Yeah, why not? Unless I get something incredibly good, like increase the damage of all shadow types and then you, for example, also have 20% crit. I'm not gonna say no to 20% crit. Thunderclap Meteor Shower, no. <laughs> I'm actually still missing one. Firebolt, let's go for it. How much damage does it do? 593. Yeah, my ice is actually the best one right now. <laughs> That's funny. Because it had a lot of damage upgrades to it. The fire one as well, though. Yeah. Okay, more fire. Will we have 10 upgrades on the weapon? That would be nice. I'll just kill them. There we go. Doom Agile. This could be interesting. I don't know if I like it. I think I will go for Agile at this point. But I may want to pick up more of these effects that get applied. Since it, it should nuke the final boss when they are doubled, you know. Chaos Bomb. No. Still no Blood Rage. I don't know what's going on there. Or what its name was. But more critical strike chance, 50%? 50%. That is a decent value. Okay, where are they? Uh, where, no, there it is. Come on. 
dash up here. How quickly do we kill you? Incredibly quickly. Wow. And attack speed of the Shadow Bolt. Not the biggest fan of this. Right, let me actually see how far this goes down. So from 4.6 to 4 seconds, that is not 25% obviously because we have a lot of that stacks on there, but that is solid. Maybe I should just get attack speed overall. I think that would be good. Uh, our, our monster counter is not even there because we killed the boss so quickly. That's hilarious. Uh, you just really want me to pick you. Let's do it. The thing is, I think damage-wise, we are ahead right now, so I don't mind taking some of these that I don't view as optimal. The one thing that I really want to get right now is, I think, attack speed. 15% crit. 65%. And our attack speed is actually 75%. Never mind. That is ridiculous. That is decent. That is without the blood rage. Usually with blood rage, you have a ton of attack speed, since it gives a decent bonus. But we didn't get it so far, sadly. But hey... We have five bolts. That's good enough. Damage increase yet again to the Shadow Bolt. That deals now 1.7k damage, but only after five seconds, okay? It's like, yeah. Another- wait a second, I just realized this. Oh, it reapplies the cooldown that it takes to explode, but once it's enough that it hits the HP of the boss or the enemy, then they will just explode. So you're not losing out on anything. This is a tough one, but I'll go for more crit. 70%. We are getting closer to the 100%. Talking about min-maxing, maybe taking damage there would have been better. But I don't think I care too much. I just want to have the 100% crit. How much do we have? 75%. So 3 out of 4 hits, in theory, should critically strike. Yeah, that sounds decent, I would say. It sounds more than decent. And then they apply double the effects on the enemies. Magnetic at this point... Yeah, we are still 3 bosses away. I think that's okay. Hey, it was a purple upgrade. That's a decent level. That's a level 3. Compared to two level 1 upgrades. I know there are some people that really dislike Magnetic. I, I think I said it already. But I'm just a huge fan of the idea that I can reroll. And it affects all the future pretty much. I could go for my tier, but that doesn't make a big difference. Damage increase of type Shadow. I mean, sure. 2.1k now. <laughs> it's, it's okay. It's not bad. Wait, what is actually the cooldown? 4 seconds, 2.3, 2... 1.1 seconds on the Frostbolt, never mind. Maybe it would be great to have like a DPS showcase where you can just see, oh yeah, okay, the DPS of this is the cooldown multiplied with the actual damage. That way it's a bit more precise, but I guess this couldn't show like stuff that pierces versus stuff that doesn't pierce or stuff that has AoE versus stuff that has no AoE. Yeah. No, I guess keep it like it is. Critical strike chance. We should be at 80%. Four out of five attacks will critically strike. I think the boss felt that, for sure. But now is the point where I want to have more area, and I guess we also need a little bit more damage. What is even dealing 1734? I don't think we can see that, right? Yeah, because it's after the multiplication. Okay. <gasps> Bloodlust! Finally, 40%. Don't, don't click there by accident. I often do that. And we replace the intimidating shout. <laughs> that was actually entirely useless, I just realized. I thought it was the piercing shout for whatever reason that reduces the enemy's armor. But no, that was a really bad one. 15% bonus damage. Hey, level 3. I'll always take that over anything else. The only one that is behind right now is the poison. Do we care too much about that? It's 20, like over 25 seconds. I think poison is so bad. Should I make a full poison build? Just for fun, to see how poison actually is. Yeah, sure, why not? Let's do that. Increase the damage of all your electric weapons. Hmm, that is not bad. Yeah, let's take it. There we go. So we are about to face the fourth boss. He's not too far away. I... What do we need? More damage? Would be good. The thing is our weapons are firing really frequently. And I think all of them have double projectiles, right? Because all of them are ranged. Right, you are all ranged. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes something is not ranged where I was sure it would be ranged, but then it wasn't and it confused me. Increase the damage of poison. I really hate picking this one. I'll pick it. Okay. I would have rather had the 5% crit. But I kind of want to buff up the, even the weakest ones here by a little bit. There's the boss. How fast do we kill you? Um, Do the area. There we go. Dash. I... No, I, I don't think I actually got hit there. Yeah, I get, did get hit. Wow. I shouldn't do that when you didn't do it in a while. <laughs> if that goes wrong, you just die. 
Uh, do I have a heal somewhere? I guess I don't. Uh-oh. This will be risky for the last boss. But we still killed him rather quickly. That is nice. Fearful Strike. No, the crit potency is very good. I don't have a high level in there. Okay, like maybe I should stop taking damage. That would be great. Kill this dude here. Goodbye. Just look at the stacks that get applied to them. To the tankier ones. I didn't even notice that because I have to take care of where I walk and where are certain threatening enemies are. But I guess you can take a full look at it whenever we fight a boss. Merciless? Yes. Yes. Better than the fire upgrade in my opinion. Oh, oh, oh. Explosion guy. There we go. Usually there's so much healing around, but there's nothing right now. I guess I did heal. Yeah, my HP jumped up by a lot. So somewhere I hit something. That is the beauty of bolts. They just go anywhere. Out. Like, in usual weapons, they target at enemies, and then they just drop down around you. But the bolts are just like, yeah, I'll, I'll destroy anything. I don't care. Wow. Ouch. Wait, that was 30 damage. How strong are these? Ooh. No, they are really big boys. That is like a mini version of the boss. Increase the area of effect of all projectiles. Hey, we only have projectiles and one buff. I'll take it. I wonder which one will be the strongest one out of these. Usually the fire weapons have a ridiculous damage. Well, not the nuky ones, just the over time, like the fury projectiles that we had in the beginning, the fury missiles, as well as the firewall, and some of the others that apply burning. In my opinion, they are not even good. It's just that they multi-hit the enemies like crazy. Mm, you know what? Let's let's keep buffing up the frost one. I trash talked it, it deserves it. Okay, let's kill them. There we go. And how far are we in? 100 kills away and that was it then. That means we won't get a lot of upgrades anymore. What would I like to see? I think just double casting all projectiles would be amazing again. Wait, did we get that? I'm pretty sure we got that right. Or double casting all the ranged ones. One of the two is missing and it would be great to have them. Meteor shower flame if we don't care. Damage increase for shadow bolt. I mean, I guess. Huh. I could have been at 100% crit chance. I just want to say that. If I took all the 5% crit ones. The, where are you? Wait, why is it? Oh, oh, I see, oh, wow. That is a very bad spot to spawn in. That was so... <gasps> and look at the stuff that we apply. What? Uh, okay. Well, that was an under 12 time just with the balls. That is crazy.